Summit Cup Ridge has seen many changes and tragedies over its existence. In the 1890s, it started out as a railroad bridge, built to reconnect the neighborhoods that the railroad tracks had once split. The general story about Summit Cup Bridge is, you know, years ago, maybe in the 40s or 50s, there's two versions. That one, a woman uh, jumped and killed herself off the bridge. Another is that a woman was driving alone at night. The story is basically that this woman came down, made the bend too fast, went over the rails and plunged probably, it's like 90 or 100 feet to her death. Supposedly, people go to the bridge and at night they would see this, this woman in the fog or late at night on the side of the bridge. And originally, the original stories were that she would be motioning this lady in white, you know, and people would think she'd be signaling, signaling for help. But what she was actually trying to do was make you go off the bridge too. Other people claim to just see this figure, this woman in white walking up and down the bridge. The bridge has since been rebuilt, modernized, and no longer has a dangerous turn that supposedly took the life of the lady in white. Still, the bridge possesses a body count. Confirmed deaths have occurred here. But the interesting thing about this story is there really were people that plunged their death and there were people that jumped off the bridge. And uh, it was a lot of people. It wasn't just one. Starting back as far as the 1890s, people were killed on the railroad tracks below the bridge. One, a few of the famous stories in 1937, a, a woman was driving this older man. Uh, I'm not sure where they were going, but she was giving him a ride and they plunged off the bridge to their death. In 1950, there was a, a, uh, a woman who was driving, just like in the story, uh, made the bend too fast, went off in the exact same spot and plunged to her death. And I think she may have been the kind of the inspiration for the car story. The following year, it's known that a woman did jump off the bridge and commit suicide off the bridge. In 1952 then, there was a couple that was killed in the same spot going off the bridge. And in fact, their estate sued the Pennsylvania Railroad you have the bridge widened, which is why they widened it initially, then they eventually had to replace it. But when I was researching this, this was just a few of the big, the big cases, it implied that there had been at least, you know, in total, maybe a dozen deaths because of accidents on or related to the bridge. The retelling of the tragic events at Summit Cup Bridge serve another purpose besides a simple scare. You know, if you hear that story and all these cars plunging off the bridge, and the woman in white that might distract you, one thing it might do, especially for teenage drivers that might, who might first hear the story, is they may slow down when they get to the bridge. You know, they might be looking for the ghost or they might be, you know, just remembering that story and it kind of sears in their memory. And the fact that the bridge really is dangerous and that, you know, it's kind of a reminder of that. As for the woman in white, she appears in many ghost stories and can take on many different meanings. Women in white show up everywhere, you know, all over. And there's all kinds of theories as to what, what that means. It means different things in different time periods and contexts. So it could just represent dangers to young women, especially, you know, those stories were especially common in like the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. You don't hear too many new women in white stories, but it also represents maybe a tragic, innocent figure as well. You know, someone who's, whose uh, life was, was possibly taken. Uh, you know, whites usually imply purity. Uh, so the idea that there's this kind of like tragic figure whose life was snuffed out too soon. 